Li Denghui was a pioneer in the promotion of Taiwan's unofficial diplomacy. As a staunch supporter of sovereign democracy, Li was seen as a public enemy in the eyes of the Chinese Communist Party. He made a historic speech at his alma mater, Cornell University, in 1995, becoming the first Taiwanese leader to set foot in the U.S. Since Washington broke ties with Taiwan in 1979, he also oversaw Taiwan's first direct presidential election in 1996, which prompted China to lob missiles with dummy warheads in waters off Taiwan. This was Li giving a commencement address at his alma mater, Cornell University, in 1995. It was the first visit of a sitting Taiwanese president to the U.S. since the two countries broke off diplomatic ties in 1979. In his speech, titled Always in My Heart, he spoke of how Taiwan's president would be directly elected for the first time the following year. I have done so with people in my heart. If democratic presidential elections can be held somewhere like the area covering Taiwan, Penghu, Jinmen and Mazu, then that means the area is in fact a country. Regional governments do not elect presidents. Li revolutionized cross-strait relations, even sending agents into China to establish cross-strait communication channels. But his efforts to move Taiwan toward democracy angered China. Around the first presidential elections in 1996, Beijing conducted war games and missile tests in the waters around Taiwan. This is psychological warfare. They aren't really trying to attack Taiwan. I'm telling you, those missiles are blanks. It's nothing. These comments made during the missile crisis triggered the rapid disintegration of Taiwan's intelligence networks within China. One of Taiwan's moles in Beijing, General Liu Liankun, was discovered and later executed, and dozens of others imprisoned. The U.S. responded by sending naval fleets into the region to protect Taiwan. We can only make considered speculation about whether the U.S. would engage its troops if China were to attack Taiwan. But looking at 1995 and 1996, they did indeed send in their aircraft carrier battle groups, which, while not a declaration of war, was a very clear statement of their position. Li was undaunted by Beijing's aggression, doggedly striving to let Taiwan pursue a path of its own in the world. Since the Taiwanese presidential election and missile crisis in 1996, the trajectories of the two countries, Taiwan and China, have begun to diverge more swiftly. In 1998, Li said Taiwan and China's relationship was a special state-to-state -state relationship. This controversial comment led China to suspend communications with Taiwan. But despite overseeing some of the frostiest moments in cross-strait history and becoming an enemy of the people in Chinese eyes, Li was determined to leave a legacy of democracy for Taiwan.